3 MIG, the vanguard of the Mets. We are on the cutting edge as the character of warfare changes for deployed on key terrain. We collect, communicate, and act on critical information that's essential to 3 MEF's mission via 3rd Intelligence Battalion and 3rd Radio Battalion. We are able to assure communications and distribute information through 7th Communications Battalion. 5th Anglico strengthens allies and partners, generating effects across domains. 3 MIG Psychological Operations Company uses the power of persuasion as a force multiplier to achieve national objectives in the information environment. With steadfast resolve and with logistical support from MEF Support Battalion, we are able to support MAGTAF operations across the Indo-Pacific. With Communication Strategy and Operations Company, we distribute key information about the MIG and the Marine Corps and tell their stories. We are ready to respond to any crisis or contingency. We carry the torch for Marines who have gone before us by continuing traditions and advancing the core. We honor our forebears and their dedication to victory by enhancing our own lethality with new technology and warfighting capabilities. Without the trust and cohesion between 3rd Intelligence Battalion, 3rd Radio Battalion, 7th Communications Battalion, 5th Anglico, PSYOP Company, MEF Support Battalion, and Comstrat Company, the MIG cannot function. As long as there is a common mission and a common entity of where we're going to go for whether it's an exercise or just a basic training event, I mean, that's, what, that's what brings people together. It doesn't matter what their MOS is or what battalion they're from or what section they're from because you all know like the mission first. I would say the best part about being a SOP Marine here at 3 MIG is the fact that everyone is so close. You're going to the same places with the same people and you're always uh, gathered around. People that, that you know are there looking out for you. Being stationed in the Pacific is important for operations for 7th Communication Battalion, ensuring that 3 MIG and 3 MEF are always ready. What makes me proud to be a 5th Anglico Marine is our unit is currently pushing to be the leaders at the front of the pack. Because real leaders lead from the front. What I love about being an Embarking Third Group Battalion is that I am surrounded by a bunch of people from different backgrounds and experiences and we can learn from each other. The Marines here are very, very knowledgeable about what they do and I think they're passionate about what they do as well and it can quite possibly inspire you. I'm proud to be part of my unit because of everything we've accomplished and everything that I've seen go up, everything that we've done, and everything that we have been able to accomplish with the work of everybody else. And it's nice to see all of that and know that I was part of that. To carry on traditions is it's humbling because you get to see those before you that fought so hard for multiple reasons and you are now living on in their memory and carrying on what they fought for. This year's Marine Corps birthday is a chance to reflect and to celebrate the Marine Corps. The Marines to your right and to your left, and most importantly, you. As we pay tribute to the sacrifices of those that came before us, we fulfill their legacy with the actions that we take every day. You should be proud of where you've come from and proud of where you're taking us. You are the vanguard of this MEF, ready to deploy across multiple warfighting functions, creating tempo, speed, and time, and I'm excited and proud to serve alongside of you. I too am proud to be a MIG Marine. Happy 246th birthday, Marines. And Semper Fidelis.